welcome back to calypso moon welcome in if you're new capricorn we're doing your reading this is going to be a love reading capricorn i know i've been neglecting y'all on the love tip you know i haven't really did any specific readings with my intention set on it being a love reading but i'm doing that for y'all tonight i'm out here enjoying this beautiful nice weather next to a beautiful nice beach on the rooftop of a beautiful nice building looking at this huge ass sky full of beautiful bright stars i am so grateful i'm very grateful for you guys as well for y'all watching the views the likes the subscriptions we're definitely growing i hope y'all are catching my vibe i'm really catching on to y'all's we're we're getting along we're moving along more and more vibes that's what i like to see all right let's go ahead and get into this reading i don't know why i had that deck first and I, I honestly can't even tell you what card just flipped right now it was a three or something maybe the three of wands i don't know why that just happened i feel like i was in the zone <laughs> all right capricorn let's get into your reading spirit what messages do we have for capricorn i smell something burning I ain't my save. Okay, we got the four of air. Somebody could be on a break, taking a rest, healing from something. We got the high priestess. We got the queen of air. One more. And we got the Four of Fire, Four of Wands, the Four of Swords, the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Earth in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> so that's signifying that somebody's coming out of the cold. There could be a reunion coming in here. after a resting period or after a break y'all if my cards fly off i keep telling everybody this if my cards fly off i'm flying with them i'm going to get them so y'all just go this camera gonna fly everywhere not like y'all ain't seen that before but <laughs> y'all i'm just saying fair warning okay back to this damn reading okay so somebody there there's there's a separation here somebody's there's a separation with the four of swords. I'm seeing that. Whether it's willing, unwilling, I don't know. We got to see what comes out when we clarify. But there's some type of something that your intuition is telling you to check into or check out. You could be getting an intuitive nudge here, Capricorn, is what I'm seeing with this queen of swords and the high priestess. This could be coming in the form of thoughts or even like something that you're saying that you're not recognizing that you're saying. Or maybe even something that somebody else is saying. There could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini you're dealing with. What the hell? The sun. With the four of swords. So this could be definitely talking about something that's healed or is healing. That's what this separation could be about. Someone needing some healing. But I see happiness here. So I'm not getting no crazy shit. Yeah, we got the queen of pentacles in reverse. That would be you, Capricorn. And here we have the queen of swords in reverse. Five of Wands. All right. Show me this High Priestess. <sighs> we got the Nine of Wands and the Moon in reverse. The Nine of Wands and the Upright, the Moon in reverse. <laughs> With the High Priestess. 
So there is something that's not secret or hidden from you. We have two celestial bodies here as well. There's something that's not secret or hidden from you because you intuitively know what it is already. You intuitively know what it is. Somebody might have tried to hide something. Oh my God, Capricorn, what else I'm getting here is that you could be trying to hide your emotions here. We got the fool in reverse. Somebody's wounded with this nine of wands, Capricorn. And you might not want someone to know how badly you are wounded. I'm sensing some fear here for somebody. There definitely could be some abandonment issues here. And with there being a separation here, that could have triggered something. I'm just saying. Y'all, my thumb getting arthritis in it. That's why I was using my left hand. <laughs> we got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. And beat down, battered, and bruised. You over here still recovering from all that shit. But you're not showing your feelings. We got the page of wands here. I feel like somebody's being very cautious with their emotions. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is, um, there could be an air sign here that's saying something or, or is burdened. Maybe they're expressing how burdened they are. What is this for a fire? The Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. So this could be talking about a marriage or just a relationship that was at a higher level. I know I should have brought more water than that. Um. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is something that was long-term committal or both of you guys have the, the want for it to be long-term. We got the tower. Something happened that shook this foundation. Or something is about to happen that's going to shake this foundation. We got the Ten of Cups in reverse. With the Four of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Somebody about to tell a lie about something. To create a burden. Whoa. Why? Let's leave that right there. We got the Tower at the bottom of the deck. So something shocking is about to happen right when you thought everything was going to be okay because we have the sun here right when someone's healing or when a situation is healing somebody's going to come in with this ten of wands i'm seeing two people here this bug bro we got the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles i feel like mm. Okay, so what else does Capricorn need to know for their highest good and highest good of everyone involved? Healing family issues. I knew it was something to do with some family. I didn't even, I don't know if I even said that or not. I felt it though. Definitely felt it. It's safe for you to love. I feel like somebody's going to try something Capricorn, but I feel like something is still going to come back around successfully here. I feel like you're heading something off because you know somebody's going to try to do some treachery here. Yeah, this is somebody's true love. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all finna get away from somebody. 
codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life somebody could be trying to say something about that trust this situation is calling for you to have faith oh my god somebody is about to, somebody has been already saying something to create doubt here that's what i'm seeing with this trust this codependency somebody has already been saying something i'm seeing that there definitely had to be something that caused the separation to begin with we know that but this is kind of something that obviously isn't that detrimental or it would be showing up in the cards it was something that was, you know, tough, but I feel like somebody's trying to make it tougher or harder than it has to be. Somebody is deliberately creating doubt. But spirit is saying, trust the situation. This is true love. All right, show me what else I need to see. Hmm. Ain't no answers, don't want to talk. Okay. Something is unlikely. I'm feeling like it's unlikely that what this person is going to be saying that's is gonna change anything. Recovery. Somebody could be in recovery. Somebody could be saying that it's unlikely that somebody will recover. That could be being what's said, what's being said here. And let go. They could be telling somebody to let go. Helpful people at the bottom of the deck. Oh my God, I can't hold this down. Okay. I feel like stuff about to start blowing away. Man, I should have clarified that's Ten of Wands. I'm about to. I can't help it. Capricorn, I have to. Show me this Ten of Wands with the Queen of Swords. Spirit could be asking for somebody to use their discernment and intuition here too. Show me this Ten of Wands. The Ace of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Something is calling for you to have trust, but I feel like there's somebody else that's saying something else. It says help for people, ask for help from others. All right, Capricorn, I... It's like the cards are saying, like, let this go. At the same time saying that this is true love and that you need to trust it. I feel like there's a naysayer here in this situation. I want to clarify further. I am just All right, Spirit God, what is the advice for Capricorn in this situation? When it comes to their love, the person they're in love with. What is the advice for Capricorn in this situation when it comes to the person that they love with? Please protect me as I intermingle in these energies. Wish fulfillment. King of Wands. The Chariot.
All right. So this is somebody's wish fulfillment. This is emotional satisfaction for somebody. This is somebody being assertive and moving forward. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of passion and um, desire here. This is somebody who's of action, who will take the right action here, especially when it comes to love with this um, nine of cups. And then we have the chariot here. Like there's a victory, there's success, there's recognition of something here. with this person ten of cups so yeah there's somebody here talking shit about this connection you're not risking nothing in the situation it's going to build it's protected somebody's trying to say something shocking to make somebody choose a different path they want this to end All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave your reading there, Capricorn. I hope that helped. I tried. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next one.